All right, tonight I am back on South 42nd Street in Mountain View where I spent a lot of the last month. And this is just one of several southeastern San Diego communities devastated by flooding that happened one month ago today. Hard to believe it has been a month. Tonight, the Southeast Disaster Response Team is having a community night here to check in with neighbors, share a meal, and get an idea of what restoration is needed. I want to introduce you now to Samantha Williams. She's the founder and CEO of Gyro Providers. How are we doing today, Samantha? We're doing wonderful. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for being here. Uh, we spoke a little bit earlier, and what your all's mission is, as you explained it to me, just completely warmed my heart. I want you to explain it to our viewers, what you guys are doing here and your mission. Okay. Well, my name is, as you said, is Samantha Williams. I'm a family nurse practitioner, and our, our organization is Gyro Providers. The root of that word is Jehovah Jireh, which stands for God is my provider. It also stands for Joint Initiatives for Racial Equity and Health. And so we are all about bringing services directly to the community, overcoming a lot of those barriers that we know people with social determinants of health face. And so today we have been able to bring all of the services we provide directly to the community, share a meal with them, help to bring some um, just some warm and fuzzy feeling to in, in a difficult time to bring that directly to them. And there's definitely a need. I mean, we've been talking to these people and just some of the health complications that have come out of the storm. Some people were dealing with stuff beforehand, but I mean, people were floating through unsanitary water, uh, just some of the, the mold that they've had to breathe in. What are some of the things that you all have been seeing and the, some of the treatments that you guys have had to provide? So exactly what you just mentioned, we've had people with skin conditions and rashes or people who already had pre-existing conditions like eczema, where they had flare-ups due to being in some of that toxic water. We've also had people who were still residing in their homes that were inhaling some of the mold that was starting to grow. So some respiratory issues have started to occur. And then of course, due to the flood, um, people's medications have uh, either been damaged or washed away as, long, as well as their medical equipment like glucometers and blood pressures. So we've been able to provide those free of charge to them, um, test, trips, uh, test strips, as well as help them to procure those 30-day prescription refills from their uh, medical providers. Um, those are the main services we've been providing. And the importance of that I want to share really quick is the fact that in times like this, for communities like this, you really have to figure out unconventional methods and ways of serving them and not the typical um, kind of just put a flyer out there or a form to say call this number if they've lost their cell phone, they've lost their car for transportation, and they've lost their home. And I just have 10 more seconds. I just want to give you guys an idea. This is basically free health care for communities in need and people I'm sure watching may want to help. How can people help or donate or support? Or so seconds. please, you can help and donate by going to our website gyrahealthandwellness.org uh, gyrahealthandwellness.org and that's J-I-R-E-H, healthandwellness.org. Samantha, thank you so much for speaking with us and for all you do, former nurse wanting to help out her community. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 